Hey guys, and welcome to this video on the C programming language. So in this video, I want to write a program that is a simple example of an if statement for a sales tax. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing I want to do is create a description of what this program does. So this program is an example of an if statement for sales tax. All right, and then let's just set up our uh, set up our program. So I'm going to include uh, the library stdio.h, and we're going to create our main function. So I have to return some integer value here. So I'm going to return zero. And now let's think about what we want for the program. So I want to be able to get the price of an item. Um, and so what we'll do is we'll have a print statement that basically asks how much the item costs or how, what's the price of that item. And then we'll have another print statement that's going to ask if the item is taxed or not. And then if it is taxed, then we will return the total price of that item. If it's not taxed, we will still return the total price of that item. So we're going to need some tax rate. So I'm going to create a variable here. I'm going to define a variable here called tax rate. And I'm going to use the tax rate of Anaheim, California. So that's 0 0.0775. Okay, and this is the tax rate of Anaheim, California. All right, so what variables do we need? We're gonna need to know the price. So I'm gonna create a double and I'm gonna call it uh, the price or maybe we'll say the cost. So this is the price of the item. And then we're gonna create an integer variable that's gonna tell us if it's taxed or not. So we're gonna call it is text okay and now we want to get the cost or price of the item so we're gonna have a print statement here and we're gonna ask what is the price of the item that you are buying and then we're going to do a new line here. Okay, and then we're going to scan in for the price. So we're going to need a float value. So we're going to use percent %LF and we're going to uh, uh, to save this in the variable called cost. All right, then we want to ask if the item is taxed or not. So, uh, get, uh, here we go, we'll just say, ask if the item is taxed or not. Okay, so we're going to need another print statement here. Is the item taxed? And then a new line. Okay, and then we're going to need to scan in. Um, the integer value. So we're going to use is text for this. So here I'm going to put it in the comments for is text that uh, is text uh, if true, then this value will equal one. Else, if false, uh, then this value we could say does not equal one, or uh, we could say is equal to zero. All right, so let's go ahead and scan this value in here. Is text. And just so that the user knows what to put in for is text, let's go ahead and put here and tell them that they should put one for yes, and they should put in uh, zero for no. All right. 
I'm just going to capitalize those to make it look a little bit better. Okay. So let's do our if statement here. So if is tax is equal to one, so that's equals equals one, then our cost is equal to, now this is uh, some math here that we can do. So cost times one plus uh, one plus uh, the tax rate. Okay, and so how do I get this? Well, this is just equal to uh, cost plus cost times the tax rate. All right, so that's all that is. All, all I did was uh, factor out the cost here. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to print the total. So print F, your final total is, and we're going to put in USD dollars, um, and then we're going to make it only have two places behind the decimal. So percent dot two LF, and then I'm going to do a new line here. And we're going to uh, tell it the cost. And that should basically be it. So let's give this program a run and see what we get. All right. So I'm running the program now. So perfect. We have it here. It says, what is the price of the item that you are buying? I'll say the item I'm buying is $20. Is the item taxed? Uh, no. So we're gonna put zero for no. So your final total cost is twenty dollars, and that's fine. That's great. So let's run it again, but this time with it being taxed in Anaheim. So uh, the cost or the price of my item is twenty, and is the item taxed? Yes, this time. So we're gonna use one for yes. Your final total is twenty-one dot fifty-five. So that's how much we would uh, expect to pay for an item that costs twenty dollars in Anaheim. Twenty-one fifty-five. And of course, again, uh, just so you guys see that if we don't put um, zero, it still means uh, for the question that that's, that asks if the item is taxed or not. If we don't put zero, then you will see that it still won't get taxed. Because in order for it to be taxed, we have to put number we have to put the number one for yes. So let's go ahead and try this again. We're gonna put in twenty, and there is the item taxed. Well, instead of me putting zero for no, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, one hundred and twenty-three. And so you can see that our total here says your final total is still twenty dollars, even though we didn't explicitly put zero. Um, so that's uh, something that maybe you'd want to fix on the program, maybe not. Either way, uh, we have our program working right now. And so that's basically it, guys. I just want to show you guys um, an example of an if statement using sales tax. So I'll be sure to leave a link uh, of the code on my GitHub. So please check that out and leave any comments, questions you have about this program. Uh, please share it if you found it helpful. And as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.